a great evening. And while it's 58 years today after the first successful coup since Nigeria gained independence in 1960, scholars agree that all five successful coups significantly shaped the country's political landscape. What more has been the impact? Sifon Isin reports. January the 15th marks the peak of events to celebrate the Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Nigeria. It's on the same day in 1966 that the first successful military coup was staged. Since then, there have been four other successful military coups. On July the 29th, 1966, a coup led to the fall of Johnson Aguye Runsi's regime on the 1st of August. There was another coup on July the 29th, 1975, after which Colonel Joseph Garuba announced the removal of General Yakubu Gowan as head of state while Gowan was abroad. Whose population was seething with ethnic tension. In 1983, General Muhammad Ubari was involved in a coup that installed him as head of state. 1993 witnessed yet another coup. The impact of the coups have been multifaceted according to experts. Major General Garuba Wahab retired from the Nigerian army on the 28th of January 2015. He says beyond politics, the impact of military coups have been far reaching. Well, most of the general people shout, military, the military in government. Yes, the military is taking over. We're announcing a heading. This is an aberration. It's, 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 it's found out everywhere now. But the impact, uh, if you don't have the structure to, to govern, you have a problem. And that's the major, major impact. The structure of governance is affected when the military comes in. Research has shown that military regimes may have prioritized defense spending over critical infrastructure and social services, neglecting education, health care, and public utilities that impact human development. And so I keep on telling people, there's no point for me and my colleague who are supposed to be looking after the people and securing them to be, to be eyeing ourselves, to be suspicious of each other. We can't provide the security we want to provide. And that's what normally happens during military era. Beyond the ceremonies of the Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration, people with vast military knowledge, like retired General Wahab, believe January the 15th should also serve as a reminder that responsive governance, checks and balances, protection of civil liberties, and individual participation can only be guaranteed under a democracy. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.